Now, government has announced plans to add dialysis treatments permanently to the National Health Insurance Scheme. The Chief Executive Officer of the National Health Authority, Dr. Da Costa Abuaji, stated that the board will be meeting next month to finalize the decision, which will be key to sustaining the free dialysis initiative for renal disease patients in the country. It is estimated that 11% of Ghana's population has kidney disease, with 8% requiring regular dialysis. The National Health Insurance Authority began absorbing the cost of dialysis for all patients in June, covering varying proportions with vulnerable groups receiving 8 free sessions per month. The free dialysis program, which started four months ago, is scheduled to end in two months. Since the announcement of the initiative, there have been some concerns about its sustainability after the six-month duration expires. However, the Chief Executive Officer of the National Health Insurance Authority has allayed these concerns, assuring that there are plans to sustain the initiative. The team is actually working on seriously because we've looked at the data and we now know that by the data we can support the dialysis patients to the extent that they are even not able to use the amount of money we've been giving them. There will be positive news, I think, from next month going when the board actually meets to decide on the way forward for permanently adding the dialysis on the NHIS benefit package. Renal disease patients have been responding positively to the authorities promise. It's something we are waiting for. It's something uh, we've been praying for. So we are just hoping to hear from them as soon as possible. We will leave it to them for them to come out and come and explain to us the way forward and how it will go. But we are just praying that it should be a full coverage. The six-month free dialysis program for renal disease patients came into effect after weeks of sustained discussions from the general public on issues concerning dialysis in the country.